Yes. Good day, brothers and sisters. Uh, I want to thank everyone, all members of People Freedom Movement, wherever you are, I want to say thank you. I want to thank you for everything you have been doing. I want you to know, this fight, we are in it together. I am not doing this by myself alone. No matter whatever happened, no matter anything, they're going to throw at us. We're going to try to make sure we fight back. We're going to fight back legally. I repeat, legally. I am sorry. Previously, we have a poor network. So I decided to use my backup. So if you can hear me, go ahead and tell me. If you can hear me, I just want to know. Okay, good. So uh, I want to repeat myself again. I am mega comrade officer Clement Iranomigo Edegbe, one of the open leader of People's Freedom Movement, hashtag enough is enough. We are anti-corruption movement. We are against oppression. We are against police brutality. We are against xenophobia. We are against injustice. We are against anything that has to, anything that violates human rights. That is what we are against. I want you all to know, we are in this battle together. Our movement is a peaceful movement. This movement was created on a value that all men are created equal. That all men should be subject to one rule of law. No one should be above the law. That is our value. Our number two value, we accept any individual. It don't matter wherever you come from. It don't matter. It don't matter whatever religion you, you are. We accept you if you want to join us and fight corruption. As you all understand a couple of days ago, Nigeria become one of the most corrupt country in the whole world. I repeat, Nigeria become one of the most corrupt country in the whole world. So, as we continue to live in corruption in Africa, Nigeria has single-handedly took it upon themselves, mostly the leaders, that corruption become an epidemic. It become a, a virus that nobody can cure. We cannot cure it. But the only way they want us to deal with it is to live with it. We are not going to allow that uh, corruption virus to devastate our community. We are not going to allow you to use your corruption virus to destroy our life. We are not going to allow you to use your corruption vi virus to destroy our brothers and sisters, our children, our generation, more to come. So therefore, we, the People's Freedom Movement, have taken it upon ourselves to take it and take a peaceful movement to make sure everyone in the world are aware of the corruption in Africa. I understand that no country is perfect, but so far Nigeria become the worst, the commander-in-chief of corruption. As you all understand, Nigeria is one of the one of the highest population in Africa. We should be the giant of Africa. We should be the best country in Africa. We should be one of the good countries in Africa. But our so gangster corrupt politicians, cartel leaders, they refuse, they cling to power. They do whatever it takes for them to remain of power. They unleash their militant, their vampire gang on us from coast to coast, from south to north, east to west, all over Nigeria. Some African leaders are practice Nigeria. Corruption continues to grow in their neighborhood. So I am appealing to the world, those that can listen, who will listen to all my video. I repeat, we are no violent movement. People's freedom movement, hashtag enough is enough, is no violent movement. We have some good police officers. We have good military. We have law enforcement agency. As you all know, I am a security personnel and a detention or correctional officer. I will never subject myself to be a part of any illegal activity. I repeat, any illegal activity. As the Nigerian government is unable to deal with corruption, we, the people, have took it upon ourselves to cry out to the world, the entire world, to help us. Hence, Nigeria, we cannot help ourselves. All our movement, brothers and sisters, I want you to go ahead and share this video. Go ahead and share it. 
Because the more we share it, the more people hear about our movement. We are no violent movement. We shouldn't be ashamed of ourselves. I want to tell all brothers and sisters all over the world, most especially in the United States, those that live in the United States, I want you to know that the government of Edo State, I'm coming to Nigeria in a few minutes, government of Go, uh, Godwin, Norega Se, Obaseki, of Edo State, Edo State Governor, Godwin, Norega Se, Obaseki, have unleashed his gang squad all over the world. He has single-handedly used Edo State Fund to fund his gang squad. They call them vampire blood soccer militant in Benin. They are on social media. They, they come with a different name. They disguise themselves. But what we understand, they are members of Governor Norway Ase Obaseki militant in Edo State. These are the militants that Governor Obaseki used to enforce law instead of using, using his own police department to enforce law. So-called corrupt commissioner of police, useless disgraced commissioner of police of Edo State, bring himself so low and disgrace Nigerian police force entirely and taint the good law enforcement officer in Nigeria and bring himself a superior officer begin to gang up and plan with militant. How can a law enforcement officer, a high rank superior officer, you will bring yourself for a governor of a state who you know that is already corrupt, to corrupt you, you inject yourself into a political party. You become a political member, APC member. So far, I understand, here is the breaking news. The Edo State Police Commissioner have been called into questioning in Abuja. I want to thank all members of People Freedom Movement for all what you have done. One by one, we will deactivate their plan. One by one, we will deactivate whatever anything they want to use against us. I want you to know, please continue to share this video, brothers and sisters. Continue to share it. That is the campaign we have. That is the only power we have against them. They have no mega voice like the Almighty. They have no mega voice like the Almighty Representative. They are the no mega voice like the voice of the voice. Mega Comrade Officer Clement Iranomigo Edegbe. I will challenge anyone. I will continue to speak the truth. Those that are against us, that they are for corruption. Anyone that is against us, they are for corruption. I want to let you know that Governor Nore Ase Obaseki is a governor that we, is a governor called OJT. Governor Nore Ase Obaseki is an OJT governor. Those that are in law enforcement agency in the United States, you understand what I mean. OJT governor on the job training governor. He has no idea of what he's doing. My whistleblower have, have acknowledged me that Governor Nore Ase Obaseki is a man who is very brutal. He's a dictator. He has no respect for human life. I have also gathered an information that he might be subject to illegal use of drug. That Governor Nore Ase Obaseki might be, he might be, be under, in the, under influence of drugs. That is what we call narcotics, illegal drug. I want in United States, before you become a law enforcement officer or in any job, you will be tested for drug. I am calling on the Federal Drug National Drug Enforcement Agency in Abuja to call on Governor Noe Ase Obaseki to subject him to be going undergoing every month drug test so that we, the people of Edo State, we understand that our governor is not, is not, oh my God, is not governing us with influence of drug. That is why Governor Noe Ase Obaseki have no plan of his own. He has no decision of his own. He will make one decision. Someone else will change it on him. I continue to imagine how can a smart man like him become so unpredictable. That is the news we have gathered. So therefore, as Governor Nore Ase Obaseki refused to come out and tell us what he knows about the assassination plan against me, mega comrade, Clement Iranomigo Edegbe, who was, who someone exposed it 
we all know him, the commander in chief of the Minutad, aka Saddam Hussein of Benin. However, I have given him a few days to come onto the social call media, whatever they call it, social media, to come and explain himself and say the truth. He has lied against me. They says, if you want to kill a dog, you give a dog bad name. I want you all to know that I am innocent on any allegation. So-called Saddam Hussein of Benin. have So-called Saddam Hussein. I repeat, Saddam Hussein, Tony Kabaka. I want everyone to know, please, that Nigeria government is completely out of control. I want you all to join me as you continue to share this video. I want you to join me and pray for our president, President Mohamed Buhari, and also pray for our United States president. That is the both country that I'm, really, I'm affiliated with. President Mohamed Buhari cannot carry this fight alone. He cannot do it by himself. I want you all to join me and share this video so that we together, People Freedom Movement, hashtag enough is enough. We should be able to join the president of Nigeria and fight corruption. This man come, a campaign slogan was corruption is a cancer to Nigeria. He's been doing it. But so-called the advocate of corruption, a do state governor, it is only six months they have been in the office. Instead of Governor Noe Ase Obaseki to negotiate with the Edo people and ask us what we want, we will tell him he has decided to use Edo state money to finance a terrorist organization, militant, vampire militant. I want all our movement members to go online, continue to look for them one by one, take the pictures, whatever anything they write on Facebook, Make sure you store it in your computer. Those are the proof. Those are our evidence we're going to use on Governor Noe Ase Obaseki as soon as he arrives in the United States. As soon as Governor Obaseki comes to America, we're going to make sure we call him into questioning. To come and explain. Because as I was advised, there's no way anyone, the crime is as not big. Nobody has lost life on it. My family, no one has touched them. So there's nothing we can do at this moment. What we can do is to watch. As soon as they make any error, we will take that error and run with it. Take it to FBI. The FBI will be able to call on extradition of anyone. But so far, they cannot do it. But if they are in United States, if they put their foot in United States, the law becomes ours. The law in Nigeria that is not working is working in United States. I want everyone to know. Whenever Governor Noga Ase or his gang or his cabinet leave Nigeria, I want you to notify our movement as soon as possible. Those who are in anywhere, any airport that is going to land, I want you to carry a paper. Write Governor Oba Ase, Governor of Edo State, help us create corruption. Protest anywhere you go. You have a right to protest. You have a right of assembly. You have every right to do anything legally. I repeat, legally. It doesn't matter if you are one, if you are two, go ahead and protest and let your, your voice be heard. That is what I'm encouraging everyone. Those that are corrupt leaders who are able to infiltrate into the United States and corrupt a do association in Dallas Fort Worth, I want you all to know whenever Governor Obaseki comes to the United States, anywhere he lives, any house he lives, I want you to investigate it. I want you to tell us we have every right to go and protest in that house. Let us bring attention on all these governors. I am not going to talk about Governor Obaseki alone. The way we, we're going to win this fight is by doing it legally. Our power is social media. They cannot shut us down. Very soon, like I did a while ago, I just went ahead and bought a brand new computer. Then I tried to use it. It didn't work out. I go back to another one. That is to tell you we have plan A, we have plan B. Our plan are legal. We have nowhere to go. We are just going to follow the legal way. When they want to use their militant, their terrorist gang to terrorize our community and terrorize social media, the more violent, the more vocal language they use, the more we have evidence against them. That is on Governor Norway Asse Obaseki. For the disgraced commissioner of Edo State, I want you all to share this video. Let us thank our IG, the Inspector General of Police. I want to thank you. 
I want you to know, do not send that man back to Benicity. Do not let them bring bribe or come and corrupt you. We are joining you in this fight. My next video, I will bring a picture where, where you stand and hold a poster and say, no corruption. This is the fight you call for. This is the fight President Mohamed Buhari called for. On your watch, Nigeria become the one, the number one most corrupt country in the world. On your watch, IG. I want you all to know, those are in AFCC. I do not know. Let me not go there first. I'm coming there. I want to address Edo State. Our Edo people, I want you all to know, Governor Obaseki is unpredictable governor. We do not know under the influence that he's working with. Our whistleblower from his inside, some of his cabinet friends, they have notified us that Governor Obaseki is unpredictable. So I am calling on the National Drug Enforcement Agency in Nigeria to call on Governor Obaseki and conduct a drug test. Every month, I am subject to drug test. Why can't our ruler subject to drug test? That is number one. We do not want Governor Obaseki to use our money on illegal activity. We do not want it. Our money of Edo State belongs to Edo State people, not for drug cartel. If Governor Nogayase Obaseki is into illegal substances or methamphetamine or crack or whatever it is, crack okay, I don't know, let him go and take a drug test and show it to the public. Because so far, he has demonstrated is incapable to rule a do state. Number one reason, instead of him to use a law enforcement agency, Nigerian police force, to enforce the law, Governor Baseki single handedly take law into his own hand and use his thugs, his vampire militant gang, his vampire terrorists, then he unleash it on us, on Edo people. Let me tell you what the commissioner of police were doing. Whenever they have a dead body in in Edo State, they will call it they will call it a courtis. They will say, "Oh, court." They name it court. They have not conducted investigation. They have not even less than two hours. They will just say, "Oh, it's courtis fighting themselves." They are lying on courtism. They lie on everybody, just like they lie on a courtis That is how the Nigerian uh, Edo State Police Commissioner have trained the PRO public relations officer. To be said on TV, they will come on TV without investigation. Two hours, they will name it. Oh, it's gang gang killing. How do you know? How do you know? How do you know it's gang killing? As a law enforcement officer, you are not supposed to speak in any crime that is ongoing investigation. For you to come out, there's this little boy that was just killed by a do collect area a few days ago in Benin City. Less than three hours, the PRO, the propaganda machine, Governor Obaseki, disgraced governor, very soon, you will become a lame dog governor. I am coming to the judiciary. You are, I, I told you, the people power is more than your power. Money is not everything. You see all those boys you are using. You continue to pay them, continue to pay them. Nobody is paying me. I have not received any penny from anybody, payment. Everything I have done is for with my money. The money of xenophobia is, is still there. Nobody has touched it. So I am calling on everyone. Please, if you are a member of our movement, we are trying to grow this movement. We are trying to do whatever it takes to open up office, registering in all over the world. It's already done in the United States. Don't worry about that. It be done in some of the cities in Europe, some in Africa country, but we cannot use that. We want it to be registered in all over states in Nigeria legally so we need assistance we don't want any corrupt government to finance us we want to finance ourselves with our sweat money it is legal for you to make a donation for anything very very legal 100 percent. don't be scared of it okay then another thing it is legal for you to pick up a phone to call on police if you suspect anything if all these gangs threaten you if you are in italy all these, they are militant, terrorists, who are able to infiltrate into Italy by boat. You're going to bring attention. You're going to create a problem for Nigerians in Italy. If you know all these militant, Governor Obaseki militant, I want you to call Italian police. Report them to Italian police. They don't deserve to live in the midst of us. If you are in the United States, if you know if any Obaseki gang, vampire militant, 
vampire terrorists are in United States, I want you to call on the FBI. Call your local police. Let them know these people, they are hiding under whatever job they are doing. Let the FBI and the local police investigate them. We do not want those terrorists in our country. America is a peaceful country. We will do whatever it takes to keep it peace. If Nigeria cannot control their own country, we shouldn't allow them to bring their problem into our shore. That is number one. So I want you all to know, before you support Obaseki, Obaseki is a leader of a terrorist organization called Vampire Militant Gang. It's on, it's on YouTube. Their leader have even come to public and stated that he drink blood. That is their enforced commander. They have, they have a, what they call it, brigadier, they have general. That is their one-star or two-star general. Those that are in social media are the lieutenant, are the captains. They are in social media. Anyone that is making or any allegation, don't worry about it. Just paste it, copy it, store it, send it to me. One thing that I know well is to follow the rules and regulation. And I will follow the law. If Nigerian judiciary is not functioning, I will let them know American judiciary is functioning. For those that are involved in terrorist act in Nigeria, if you know you have committed any crime in Nigeria, do not get on board and fly to United States. Do not get on any plane and fly to Europe country. Do not leave Nigeria. Stay in Nigeria until you confess your sin and go to jail and serve for the crime you have committed. I am telling you that is the message I have from the law enforcement agency. I will fight to help United States law enforcement agency to protect the homeland. That is what I will fight for. Number one, we are the law and order movement. We are the law and order movement. People's freedom movement, hashtag enough is enough, is law and order movement. Vampire gang, terrorist militant, headquarters, Edo State, harbored and powered by Edo State governor, who studied in United States, Governor Noreyase Obaseki, who have single-handedly destroyed Edo name in all over the world. You have stayed only six months in power. Because of your power drug, it has led you to make a rational judgment. You continue to unleash your militant on us. Let me tell you, we will use whatever legal resources to deactivate your militant any way we can. This is another thing we have to talk about. The commissioner of police in Edo State, please, you are in Abuja now. I don't want to, I want to thank everybody. Continue to call. It's in Abuja now. I heard that some of the militant sponsor in Edo State are going to take some billions, billions of naira to Abuja to bribe so that they can bring him back. He's already been asked to come to Abuja because they saw our video. They saw what we have done. I want to thank everybody that this is the first time one man, one movement have come out and speak against any city police commissioner. It has never happened because everyone are scared. I want to thank our movement. That is our number one win. Our number two win is for us to be able to, to organize and make sure we are a good mega movement, like we call it. I want everybody to go on, go fund me. Go to go fund me. I repeat, go fund me or whatever it is. Go to my Facebook page. Follow the link. They are legal, legal. They help. You can use it to do anything. If you want to pay your house rent, you are down. You can't pay. You can use it. It's legal. Don't listen to all those rubbish. They have no idea what they are talking about. I thought they are educated. Now I know that they are not educated. They just go to school and carry a degree. Some of them that even when they go to school, they have a, not even one credit. The next year you see that they will have 10, 10 A's. You imagine, how do they get A's? Because government corrupt government. The next time you will see they are in University of Nigerians. They will become a master degree. They will be carrying their certificate. They will present we that they claim we don't know anything. Let me agree. I didn't go to primary school. Thank you. But I am working as a security and a detention or correctional officer in the United States. Ask anybody. You cannot become a correctional or detention or even CPO. For you to become that, you have to have a criminal justice. Or you will have two years of law enforcement experience before you can be hired. Go online, Google it. If you know how to read it and whatever it is. 
So I do not want anybody to think otherwise. The reason why Obaseki will lose this battle and corruption will lose this battle is because the leader is a clean leader. I can never be intimidated. And I, I am a fearless leader. I am a tiger. I'm a lion. Nobody, not even the, what they call it, what they call it, the United States Congress and United States Senate can stop me. Nobody. One thing that I'm happy about, this is the land of law. Not even the president of the United States can stop me not to talk of you. You rat. You criminals that deserve to go to jail. You all one day will end up in jail. And we will continue to feed you. We will continue to feed you the food that you deserve to eat. Krikri is your home. Very soon, I'm waiting for you all to just step into a trap. There's a trap waiting for you. You all know where my people live. Why, why have you all not try to exaggerate and make a mistake and see what will happen? That is number one. I want to address uh, those people. Governor Obaseki, I have no personal issue with him. When I spoke with Governor Obaseki, I spoke very good. I respected him. For Governor Obaseki, instead of him, even though he lied to me, he lied to me. I respected him as a governor. If we talk of legal money, I work more than Governor Obaseki. I have made money more than Governor Obaseki. Governor Obaseki was living in a hotel before he became a governor. Now, all of his only Governor Obaseki have how many houses? All those bogus cook papers, they were saying he's a millionaire, he's a billionaire. Those are fake. It's fake so that when he become a governor, they can say Governor Obaseki was rich. Governor Obaseki has no house before he become a governor. If he do, you know it's a, it's a camouflage. Now, Governor Obaseki has a lot of houses. He has in Dubai. He has many in America. Now he wants to change his way to be buy a house with people's name. That is why you see all these guys in America, they are trying to get a little they can get from Governor Baseki. They are nothing but hypocrites. That is what they are. And they are against, they are on the wrong side of the law. And the hammer of the law, the full weight of the law of the United States, will soon catch up with them. That is one thing. So, another one I want to talk about. Uh, it's about the EFCC. EFCC was created in 2003. Nigeria, I repeat, go ahead and share this video, brothers and sisters. EFCC was created in 2003. Nigeria was not number one most corrupt country in the world. I wonder, why will you create anti-corruption entity, agency, to fight corruption? Within a few years, 13 years, they become the leader, the head of corruption in all over the world. So, I think EFCC should be questioned. I've been speaking about it a long time ago. As you all know, I've been talking about it. I want the president of Nigeria, President Mohamed Buhari, call the leadership of EFCC to question. I know what they are fighting. What the really thing they are fighting against. If they are using them to fight against those who speak against corruption, like us, let us know. That is number one. Then, let's go to the next chapter. I'll just write it. Some of our children who have suffered in Africa, they traveled to Europe. They went through Libya. Some of them went through horrific things. I don't want to name. Some of them died. They finally arrived. They did not even lie of where they come from. They said they are Nigeria. Can you believe Nigeria Embassy cannot produce a passport for them? This so-called Minister of Foreign Affairs is our next thing we're going to talk about. If Governor Baseki survived the tribunal, those state tribunal, if he survived it, because I know they have been giving money to those state tribunal for them to favor them in their judgment. I heard about it. But I want to speak to whoever is going to preside on the case. Do not think you have collected that money and rule against the people's voice. I want you to follow the truth. I am not telling you to to push it to PDP or to APC, but I want you to be fair and firm and consistent on your judgment. If you go above what you are supposed to do, I want you to know the people freedom movement will come. We'll make sure we cry, we shout, you'll be removed from that panel. If you want to know how powerful our voice is as the United States of America, they will tell you the people's voice are the biggest voice anyone should ever listen to or should respect. So I want you to know that at those states, you continue to 
whatever it is, postpone it. You are trying to cook whatever you want to cook. Go ahead. We are waiting. We already know Obaseki is not capable to lead, to lead a do state. If Obaseki is capable to lead a do state, Obaseki should be able to leave Oba market, all the market in a do state, and give it to our traditional rulers. Those are Oba market, a Kyosa market, a Daike market. It was not named after government. You know what I'm saying? In the northern side or in Middle East, they have what they call Sharia, Sharia law. We should have a do law. That that a do law should be our own traditional ruler, be able to control whatever they want to control. If Oba's land, Oba owns that land, the land belongs to him. So we should be able to give him a little bit of what he owns. You can't just go there and say, it's Oba. if Obaseki is really respecting the Enigis, if he's respecting the Edos, why can't Obaseki call on the House of Assembly, Edo State of Assembly, and pass a law? All this revenue they are collecting in the market, let it give it to Enigis. Let's see how the Enigis will not create job. That is number one thing. Obaseki is a fraud. Obaseki is a fraud. He has fraud. It's a fraud. He just came he have, with the fraudulent activity that he have conducted in during the time of gubernatorial election. I was there. I was on the ground. That is where I know this man cannot be trusted. When I spoke with him, he lied to me. He continued to lie. You know what I'm saying? So I want to go back to the. Uh, give me a second. As you all know, our brothers and sisters are still dying in South Africa. In xenophobia in South Africa. They are still dying. The more we cry, they don't listen. That is our problem. They don't listen. The Minister of Foreign Affairs is still, is still at large. He's still working. He has not been resigned. So I want you all to know that this fight, we are in this together. I want you all to know, as we continue to pray, we should pray that we relieve our youth in a state. From Benin City, we will transfer it to other states. One by one, all the bad police officers will be removed from office. As we have showed an example in Edo State, as the commissioner of police have been called to questioning in Abuja, I want Abuja to know, no amount of money, do not take it. If that man come back to Benin, that means you have been corrupt. You have embezzled a lot of billions of naira. Because Obaseki will do whatever it takes for that man to cover his atrocity. It's a part of the vampire gang in Benin. And we want to tell you, do not come back to Benin, please. Stay in your own land. Don't destroy Benin for the Enigis hand. I want the youth to know, we have, with the People's Freedom Movement, I'll be able to provide safety for you all. Do not go on the street and start misbehaving. I want you all to do the right thing. Go there and do your business and go home. As the terrorist, so-called commissioner of a do state, or as in late city, they will bring a good commissioner for us. And that commissioner will do a good job in a do state. So I want everyone to know, if you believe what we have done, our movement, is a bad thing, you can continue to insult us. If you know it's a good thing that will benefit our youth, there will be no 150,000 naira bail in a do state as a whole. I want you to support us, join us. Even if it's one dollar, one naira, contribute. It don't matter. The reason why my account number is there, that is the only account I have right now. I want to do it legally. I cannot tell them to open an account in Nigeria while I am not there. That is illegal. So therefore, I will use my personal account. If you have any question about it, there's audit, what we call audit. You can go to the bank, we print it out. The money that it was unnamed before the fundraising started, it is there. Do not think otherwise. Those that send me messages and be questioning, please go to my Facebook page, read it before you send me an email or a text me or anything. If you come back and inbox me and question me, I will not respond. I will just let you go. Because we all, we have habit. We don't want to do our job. But when others are doing it, we want to criticize him. That is the fact. So I want you all to help us. Let's grow this movement. I want to call on those people in Europe. As I spoke with you, I want you, if you have a European passport and you, are, you don't have felony, I want you to contact me as soon as possible. We'll go and look at your profile and see how you'll be promoting our movement. People's Freedom Movement is here to stay. I want you all to know it's not going nowhere. Nobody can stop it. Even President Trump cannot stop it. United States Senate cannot stop it. Congress cannot stop it. Nobody, not even Nigeria or not even Africa government can stop it because this land is a land of the free. 
everyone have right to assemble everyone have right to create an organization everyone have right to create a movement and the movement what we are against is what america is against let me not forget those that are in europe i want you all to understand any leader a uh, those state abian state uh umwaya enugu state uh, wherever state it come from that is living nigeria if your governor is living i want you to call on people movement make sure that you are our member if you are not our member we are not after monkey the world bamboo the chop that is the fact if you know you have a problem and you are not running to call me don't call me because now we are suffering you don't want to be a part of us not after we have be grown we become almighty then you'll be running here and there be begging for one thing to another i want you to join us if you want to join us if you have a problem of police and you are not our member do not call me i receive thousands of thousands of calls uh, if, don't call me because i don't sleep i have not slept for more than one week because of calls not because is the great Obaseki problem is just a minor problem the problem i'm facing right now is the call i'm receiving you know what i'm saying so we are not a humanitarian organization we are we are fighting for freedom we are freedom fighter so if you want to ask for assistance we help you call other charities we are not charity that give out loans that give out money i do that on my own personally so my brothers and sisters let us unite even if it's 30 euro please let us donate so that we can continue to expand our movement ac across the globe that's all we want legally nobody is going to use your money to buy anything i already i have a let me say i don't have money i have a good job i have a very very god that bless me you know what i'm saying god I, look at the computer they were crying about i i, I bought it yesterday i went and bought it normally i told you i was going to do it at morton when i get paid that is who i am i live on budget now i am a, i am a salary but whatever i can do i do it but i look at it i love this movement if i can spend almost ten thousand dollars of my own money on what i have done for this movement why would people complain about ten dollars or ten euro that is my own money you know what i'm saying and i'm still spending money i have to send money to to one state by next 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 month i mean next week for them to go and do their own registration i'm doing this by myself you can't just go and make an audio or whatever it is and just sit down and say hey my leader my leader no we are not a corrupt uh, organization we don't want any one person to to continue to fund us no we don't want it but if anyone in america or in europe like uh george sorrow or Bigate, want to help us we are ready anybody want to help us in the united states we are ready but in nigeria we do not want blood money because every money they collected from government is blood money that money was not given to them legally and our children have have died in libya they have died in all over the world. They have died in South Africa. They have died in China, in India, in Malaysia. So those are the money they would have used to create jobs for them. That is called blood money. This our leader, they have blood in their hands. Their children should call them to question and ask them, Daddy, what you are doing? Is it good? Like my son asks me every time. Daddy, what are you going to do now? Is it good? So thank God so far, I have a full support of my family and my brothers and sisters all over the world so i want you all to know that i love you all. i am going to be back on friday i want you to share this video please go ahead and contribute whatever you can do please it is legal any leader that is leaving nigeria let us know we will follow that leader and we'll make sure that we protest against their coming they should not come to america if they want to come there as u.s citizen they should not come with our stolen money these are the three mega countries that are that is killing nigeria switzerland united kingdom germany and dubai they are the one that is killing nigeria united kingdom have hobo they have they have tons billions of billions of our money switzerland have billions of billions of billions of our money germany have billions of billions of dollars of nigeria money and dubai they have too much of our money so this country anyone that live in all this country if you work in the bank sector we want you to investigate anyone that are law enforcement agency in all over the world nigeria and africa i want you all to join together let's start fight this corruption in the capital of corruption nigeria nigeria become grand zero of corruption that is how we're going to fight it 
So if you feel that I'm not mentioning any other country, do not worry. I am coming to, the, to that. If you feel that I'm not mentioning your state in Nigeria, don't worry. We are coming to it. And those states, six months, less than six months in power, he has started buying house here and there. We will not, no way, we will not take that. OJT training, you understand me? On a job training governor. If you cannot govern, you leave. So I want Governor Obaseki to come out and explain why he ordered his squad, his militant, against us. I want him to explain if he has no hand in the assassination attempt plan against me. I am still calling on you. Tony Kabaka, I have given you many, many long days now. All those your friends that are calling me, that are still calling me, you all can see I have given him a long time. Why would Governor Obaseki be roaming around with Tony Kabaka? Can anybody tell me? If you know Tony Kabaka have not committed a crime eh, for you, he has not committed any crime, why Tony Kabaka have not been arrested? Why? Why? So, if you are supporting Governor Obaseki, you should be careful. Governor Obaseki, if you are with a criminal, you hobble criminal, you become a criminal. So, that is it. I love you all. I want you all to know, on Friday, we're going to be back. So, thank you so much. I'll go ahead and do my job. Please do your job. Do not let me to ask for anything anymore. Thank you so much. Uh, those that are in Germany, I want you to know, I do not forget you. All this passport problem, we're going to talk about it. But I don't want this video to keep, you know, going on, going on, going on, going on. You know what I mean? Thank you. I love you. God bless you. Bye-bye.